To make sure you catch all of my new videos, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Then check the button that says send all notifications for this channel. I post videos every week on Thursdays. Hey guys, what's up? It's Cash TV here, back with another video. So this is going to be a hair update. I'm going to be showing you guys all the products that I'm using now, what my wash and go routine has been like since I did this cut, this big chop. Um, y'all okay <laughs> so you guys if you haven't already saw the video i cut off my hair and obviously but um yeah right the first day that i cut it like that day i was like so in my feelings because i was like i can't believe i just cut my hair and i think it's so interesting like how we identify with our hair like it it doesn't define us but it's like it's a big part it, it can become a big part of who you are and how you kind of see yourself like so i remember like walking past like cars and looking at myself and in the reflection i'm like who is that <laughs> so i mean it's but you know what i've realized like it's so fun to kind of like switch up your style and like i feel like i've always been the type of person to play it safe i mean I've never colored my hair even when I did the big chop like to go natural it was I transitioned for like a really long time so when I finally transitioned I actually still kind of had some hair anyway so guys I just want to jump into the products I'm not gonna lie I feel like me cutting my hair has kind of revamped my interest in like figuring out how to style it because the products that I've been using that I was the products that I was used to using don't really work on my hair now. So yeah, I had to like try some different products. But what I will do, guys, I'm gonna do a wash and go with all the different gels that I have. So since I'm talking about gels, let's talk about gels. So I'm using. That's why I decided to shoot in the bathroom, y'all, because all my products in here. So I was like, might as well. I'm using the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel, and. Before I did my taper cut, y'all, I was looking all over the internet for some DIY tutorials and like the best tutorial that, in my opinion, was um, by a YouTuber named Abigail Martina. Wait, Abigail. Okay, her name's Abigail. I'll put her link in the description box. Her taper cut is like everything, y'all. And I was like, I want my taper cut to look just like her. So I like watched her tutorials like multiple times until I could get it down and I was looking at the product she was using and at first guys I was like I can't use what she's using because her hair looked like her hair in her videos looked like a looser texture but guys what I have realized is if I use this or any gel and I brush like hold on, let me show you the brush that I'm using oh gosh it's so dirty All right, it got some hair in it. I'm sorry. Natural hair brushes be like. Right, y'all. Anyway, if I brush it and like define my curls with the brush, my curls come out bigger. It's very, it's weird. Cause I, it's like this. You see these curls? First of all, they way bigger than my curls really are. And it's like, I think it's just the method of how I defined it. All right, you guys probably like, no, that's how your curl is. I'm telling y'all, my curl was not like this before I cut my hair off. So anyway, I've been playing around with some different methods, but the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel gives me a hard hold. And I wasn't a fan of like those kind of gels that leave your hair crunchy. Um, but I think with this look, since I kind of wanted to kind of like that like once I style it while it's wet I want it to stay put I actually like it like I like it now it can be kind of dry so the leave-in that I'm using right now is the Cantu leave-in conditioning cream um, I can't really comment on it just yet because it's so new but I mean so far it's fine you guys know that my all-time favorite leave-in is the kinky curly not today Right, so other than the Eco Styler Gel, I've been using the Hawaiian Silky Gel and the Wetline Extreme Gel. Now you guys know Wetline Extreme gives amazing definition. So 
I haven't tried the wet laundry stream yet with my short hair, so I'll probably do a wash and go on that just to see what the difference is. But I really love how the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel, like the hold is amazing and the shine is really awesome. You guys can see that. Also, okay, so that's it for gel. So before I get into the other product, I just wanna let you guys know that I decided to kind of shave more of my sides off after I cut my hair initially. And I feel like I cut off way too much. So I've been like filling my my edges in y'all with eyeshadow. I had to go, you know when you cut your hair, you just get, then you be just doing stuff. You wanna try stuff now, you feel a little more bold. So I was like, let me shave my sides off. And I, shave, I tried to do like a fade and then I was like, okay, look like I ain't got no edges now. <laughs> so I've been filling it in with this eyeshadow. Let me show y'all. It's the Ultimate Brow Kit. Um, it's wet and wild and it's the darkest color in here. I just feel it and kind of make it darker because I just feel like it looks better. Um, so I need to wait for it to grow back in. But like you can't really tell, so that's why I love that, y'all. I looked up a YouTube story, I was like, oh my gosh, my edge is looking like barely there. And yeah. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna jump into shampoos and conditioners. So I'm gonna just keep it simple, y'all. I am using, I just started using this today. Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. And like, this is only $4 at Trader Joe's, so like, that's why I'm using it, because it's, it's affordable and it really does a good job. And I'm using the Tea Tree Tingle Peppermint. Oh, it's not, oh yeah, it is peppermint. I'm using the Tea Tree, the tea tree tingle, tingly um, conditioner as well. Right, you guys, sometimes I still use the clay mask. But you know what, y'all? I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. As much as I feel like if your hair is looking just jacked up, it's looking like it needs some help, I always go back to the mud washes, like if I feel like my hair is just struggling. And my hair feels great afterwards. But it's like once I kind of get into like the swing of using it every two weeks or something like that, it's like it starts to get stuck to my hair. <laughs> and then I gotta like lay off for a while because I'm like, why is it stuck in my hair? It wasn't stuck in my hair last time. So it's like, I don't know. But I don't like that stuff being stuck in my hair. So I, once again, I'm laying off on it. If my hair started to look jacked up again, I'll probably revisit it because I'm not gonna lie though, when I do use it, it's amazing. Like, it cleanses my hair, it moisturizes my hair. Yeah. And that is it, you guys, as far as my hair update. I love my new cut. Um, it makes me feel like more edgy and... Right, you guys, but yeah, so um, I'm loving my new cut. It's fun. It's like, it's a little exciting. Like, why ain't nobody tell me short hair it, it can be so much fun and like, so cool. All right, guys. So yeah, have fun with your hair and love yourself no matter what. And I'm happy I did it because I tried something new and I actually love it and I'm having fun with it. So that is it for this update. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Woohoo! 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 Woohoo!